there's ice just here. But good morning to you. Uh, I still haven't popped the bonnet. That ice is so sketchy. <laughs> it is day number 30, I think. But it's around 7.30. I'm at Sandpoint, so like the town that's just in from Schweitzer Mountain. I'm just gonna check the oil before we go for our drive today. We've got a four hour drive to get to the next mountain, which is Red Mountain. And hopefully I can stay there the night. If not, I'm just gonna stay in the town, Rosignol. Rosignol, whatever it is. So I'm just gonna do a pretty well basic check of this uh, just before we go, just to make sure it's all gravy baby. And then, and then we're good. Everything is so cold. Still got coolant. It's a really good sign. Like that. I still got plenty of oil left in it. Just check that again because it does look a little bit questionable. Just how it's on the stick. It doesn't hurt to double check. There is a, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's a thrift stop over there. And uh, thrift stop? <laughs> thrift shop. You know I love a good thrift shop. Yeah, so there's a thrift shop just over there. So I'm just going to go have a gander at that before I leave. And then I'm going to go do washing just over... A... I think it's alright. Check it again when I get to red. Benny boy's still got a lot of oil in there. Sick pickies. Okay. Uh, if I find anything cool in the thrift store, I'll let you know. If I just drilled, then... <laughs> I don't know if I'll cut that out. I'm getting a little bit cold and my hands are very slippery from touching that oil rag. So I'm gonna clean up and then go to that thrift store. Let's get this journey on the road. The car was so close to not starting just then and the jump pack has only got like very little battery. So I'm so glad that actually started then. That would have sucked. But now that it's an hour long drive, I should be right to to make it there. Charge up, charge this up just in case. And then we'll be golden. There was nothing really in that thrift store. There was a split board, but he wanted 200 bucks for it. And I was like, I don't want to spend 200 bucks. Let's hit the road. Like get really grossed out about brown bananas like that. I still am grossed out about it, but I'm living like a hobo. So you gotta do what you gotta do. It was a, uh, a little bit less than I expected. It should have been an hour from the hill because that didn't seem like it took that long to get to here. Just going to the supermarket at the moment. I should have been thinking about maybe going down into Spokane. It's the opposite way. So here it is, yeah, the turn off. Uh, the, the supermarket's just up the road here. But I think I might go down there just to go check it out. The only thing I've really got to do today is do my laundry and get to Rosignol. Like, it doesn't matter if I get there tonight. If I get there tonight, I'll probably want to go snowboarding tomorrow. If I don't go tonight, then it won't be so bad. I'll just get there tomorrow and then go snowboarding on Sunday. And like, I've got plenty of fuel. I'm just chilling. It's still early. It's still really early. It's only just past nine o'clock. Spokane's only about half an hour away. I don't know if my indicator works, to be honest. It kind of looked like he was about to just rear end me there. Uh, I guess I will just do some research while I'm thinking about some things in this safe way. Then I'll decide if I am going to go down to Spokane because it'd be nice to go and just say that I went there. Because I'm sure, like, a lot of people talk about this Spokane place, so it would be nice to go to. Maybe just go check it out for lunch or something. Maybe do my laundry there. That could be a goer. And then I wouldn't have to worry about it. And then I could just get to Rosignol tonight. And then I could maybe still go snowboarding tomorrow. I don't know. Like it's nice to have water. I haven't had water in like, I think I only had like a cup or a glass yesterday, which was certainly not enough for shredding so hard in the, in the sun. It's a really nice looking fire truck. Blue, that's really cool. Ambulance. Fire and rescue. Oh, so is that, is it combined here? Fire and rescue and ambulance. That blue looks really cool though. Got on that. Oh, I needed that water. Oh, that's what's making me feel so blah. I did get a monster as well. <laughs> Let's go to Spokane, I guess. <laughs> Random, it's an hour. It's a little bit longer than what I thought it was gonna be, but then it's only two and a half hours from uh, Spokane to Red Mountain. Spokane now, but it is, there's, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot of old, really old, like, 
cool trucks. Seems like it's truck country. A lot of cool cars, a lot of old cars sort of thing. Seems like America. Oh yeah, I could totally go there. There is a gutter there. This this place is really cool. Very gorgeous at the moment. I think that river walk is going to be really nice. Like even the houses, they're just sweet. It's different. Seems like a big city. A little bit clean up before I show it to you guys. It's got Nutella everywhere. I literally. I genuinely can't get enough of Nutella. Hazelnut spread. So good. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. It does go everywhere though. Maybe that's just with me. I just like smash it on. This thing is absolutely ripping. Look at that. I just walked over that bridge there. It was wild up there. And it split off. Comes around here as well. But this is just nuts. leftover cheese steak right now. I just finished up here at Spokane. It was really nice like walking along the river view and through the city and then I got into the public library and it was a bit like ugh. Like that's kind of where the hangout was for the homeless. It's unfortunate, unfortunate situation for someone to have to be in and it was pretty interesting in the library. I saw one guy get kicked out, another guy kept sleeping and then was like snoring. <laughs> And the security kept coming over and like asking him to like wake up. And then it just got to a point where they just left him. But now we're gonna be hitting the road. <laughs> On a side note, a new note. Get a stop like an hour and a half away to fill up. And then that'll get us into Rosin. It's not Rosignol, that's the ski brand. Rosland. Going to Rosland, that's what it is. To BC. Rosland BC. Yeah. It's two and a half hours to get there, but it's only an hour and a half to get to the next place. Hopefully I don't get sick from this, it's just been chilling in the fridge that doesn't work overnight. I reckon the fridge will work now that I've put this extra earth on. Mmm, it's just as good. Mm -mm -mm. The cheese ain't melty. I wish I had some alfoil, because then I would just chuck it in the engine bay. Let's just see what happens. I've only got baking paper like this though. I don't think that would work. I'm gonna finish this, put you on a time lapse, and I'll see you at the next place. I'm just sitting here eating, and the car's got a funky sound, so I'm just gonna check it out. Can you hear that? I've still got my cheese steak in hand. Is that it? Oh, maybe it was. Mm. That would have been it. It would have been the fan. Oh. Would have been the fan cover just touching the fan a little bit. We're all good. No whackers. Time to hit the road. into Canada baby! All our hills are done in USA now. We're pretty close to the place that I wanted to stay. It's only about 10 minutes away. I might even go, it's it's not seven o'clock yet, so I might even go and do my washing tonight. I'm undecided, I'm, I don't know if I should go snowboarding tomorrow because it's gonna be a Saturday. I'm gonna have two days where it's just full and busy and just chaotic. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm to get to where I want to park 
I'm gonna have a little sus, have a little think if I should do all my stuff tomorrow. I need to go to the library, I think, and just go and upload a video. I also need to get my laundry done, so I could do that tonight, or I could also do it tomorrow and just, just relax and have a bit of fun in Rosignol, Ros, Rosland. Could be my just chill out and get organized again and get ready to go because I've still got to go. Oh, actually, yeah, I've got to go shopping. That might be a better thing, and then I won't have to worry at all about getting to the mountain tomorrow morning and then staying and blah 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 blah. blah. Fuel is expensive in Canada. It's definitely more expensive than America. That cost me so to fill up. It was pretty pretty low. I should have looked at how many liters there was. And 169 for per liter. Doesn't sound that bad. But it cost $157 to fill up this, the van. My diesel heater and then my jerry can with that was another 30 bucks. <laughs> That's expensive. I'm heading to the laundromat now to get some things done and then I'm just gonna hang out until this afternoon and then I'm gonna head to the mountain. I feel like the absolute silliest of goose. The fridge is working now. It's all because of that earth. We'll see how it goes. I've got it on the car battery at the moment, but I can switch it over to the gas. I'm really excited about that. That was so weird. That's the first time it hasn't made the beeping noise at the start. So I'm playing around with the little settings and hopefully you can still see me. I'm trying to make the outside a bit darker so you can see where I'm actually going when I'm trying to drive. Let's go! I'm at a place called Trail at the moment. It's just down the road from Rosland. I just cleaned up. It's crazy how much nicer you feel after you clean up, right? Like, everything just smells nice. I even gave it a little spritzy spritz. So now it smells like fresh laundry. I'm gonna go do some laundry now though, talking about laundry. I'm gonna go try and watch the F1 as well at the same time. So I'm hoping that there's Wi-Fi in the laundromat. And after that, I'm just gonna go to the library, make some videos for today. And that's pretty well gonna be my day. Just a very max relax, fat chillax. There was a little spot down here that looked really pretty. So I'm gonna stop there for like five minutes, maybe even cook up a tea. <laughs> I've seen a lot more vans here than what I did in America. A lot more like the vans that I have. The, this van that I have. Now I'm hoping that you can actually see outside and you can see the sky and it all looks so plenty. Because it does look pretty. Yeah, this is the park that I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the park that I'm talking about. Oh, cheeky goose. You know, when I was just like, why is it not making the sound? It's just a fastened seatbelt noise. There's a really, really nice bridge over here. The battery's about to go flat as well, so I might turn off before I even get to the bridge. I think because we're going directly into the sun at the moment, it looks really harsh on the video and the little preview screen. This looks really cool. Here we go, this is the bridge. What have we got in trail? Not too much. Let's go for a little look. How many times are you gonna be in trail in your life? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna have to get a snappy snap of that. Oh 
looks so pretty. I thought I'd just bring you along with me. I don't need the keys. Yeah, it's all right. It might just be a phone picture for this one. Watch me cook. That's a banger. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a goose. I was too busy, <laughs> too busy trying to take pictures and all that, and then I forgot that this place is still 12 minutes away, and the race starts in 10 minutes. No! That's okay. I was looking at what I thought was Red Mountain before, but it turns out it was not. I think it's one of those out the back there. Laundromat is just here. This is gorgeous. Now I can actually see it. Looks like a really nice day. Oh, laundry dog. I went in there, went into the laundromat, put everything into the dry, oh, into the washer, then realized it only took coins and there's no ATM nearby. I thought it was nearly out of catastrophe. Managed to make it to Red Mountain and I've just like set up for the night, just been hanging out. Managed to cook up some van tacos. Tacos in the van. Look at this. Oosh. We got some little chippies in there. Oosh. I'm going to bed after I eat these and probably make a video. So probably like three hours time I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I will see you guys again tomorrow. And we're gonna be shredding this red mountain. So I'll see you guys then.